Don't get up. Don't put that money away. A lot of it's mine. <laughs> ah, now, Stacy, baby, don't stop that again. You know I can't have to pay the light bill. Hey, you had them hicks biting their fingernails tonight. I'm glad to hear you testify. You want to raise all your love. 100%. Are you crazy? There's still 150. Otherwise, I'm thinking of taking a little trip. There's an early morning bus for New York. You can't walk out on me. We got a contract. I'll do you a favor. Five minutes of my valuable time while you think it over. I'll be in that drafty sewer that you call a dressing room. Hey, Stacy, wait. All right, I need you. So maybe I can manage a few extra bucks. Maybe seven or eight dollars a week. It's just for you. Don't tell the other girls, huh? How's that? Let's drink. Five dollars. Get your dirty hands off me. Now I've got four and a half minutes. See you, Stacy. So? Now you have. <clears throat> you look just the same. I haven't got anything to say to you, Rudy. Stacy, I, I don't want to blame you for anything. Not, not even for turning me in. I should hope not. You tried to kill me. You threatened to leave me. Yeah, I'm not on anything anymore. Good news. Got me. I want you to know why I did it, Stacy. Why, why, why I dragged myself up out of that grave. It was for you, Stacy. I found out I, I needed you more than I more than I needed anything. Stacy, are you listening to me? Look, it's nearly $900. We can start all over again, honey. We, we can go to New York. Take me back. Please. Please. Where did you get the money? The last few weeks in that place, I started to write again. I did a story on it. And I sold it. You mean they pay 900 bucks for a piece about junkies? It was quite a story. Right. I believe you. How did you get out here from town, honey? A cab. I, I, I got it waiting outside. There's a six o'clock bus to New York, honey. Yes, baby, I'll go with you. We'll go together. But first, there's a man waiting to take me home. It's all right, he's just some local Joe. But he may cause trouble. Now, look, you wait here for me. I'll get rid of him. I've got to pick up some clothes anyway. And then I'll come back for you, honey.
No. Wait, Rudy. Let's do it right. Just wait right here. I got a fair lady. The gentleman changed his mind. He's staying. That's mighty nice of him. Don't get your hopes up and keep your eyes on the road. I want to get where I'm going. Where to, Duchess? Municipal airport. And step on it. still goes. Thanks. There is something you might do. You see, I'm traveling sort of light. I don't know about hotels when you haven't got any luggage. I know just the place. I thought you might. Your hotel. We'll be there. Thanks, Peppy. Thanks. It's all set. She'll see it for this afternoon. She? Peppy. She runs the club. Oh, she's at other places. Paris, Berlin. You never heard of her? I never heard of her. 
But it doesn't matter. I pull every beer. Pappies? Well, this is Paul. <laughs> well, of course I remember you. Well, the 2.30 show's best. Of course, Bernard. That was Bernard. Bear up, darling. I love your eyelashes. Let's try this one By the way, where's that little air conditioning man? Oh, he's still working. I think he's nearly finished. Give him ten. He's earned it. All right. Oh, we have an audition. Any minute. No, what this time? Female. Louis found her in Hollywood. Louis' girls are always female. Peter, darling. Would you mind if the door I seem to have left it locked? Yes, ma'am. He's a clean cut kid. Why don't you sit down and have a nice, long, cool drink? Louie, you slept in your clothes. Well, hello, Miss Burke. Uh, this is Miss Kane, Stacy Kane. Stacy, meet Peppy. You sing? Like a bird. She. You're ahead of the crowd, Louie. Take a table near the music. I'll send you a drink. Uh, Peppy, I just wanted Sit to say. Sit down, Louie. I've heard you sing. A drink. First. Thanks. And call me Stacy. I will. What would you like? Something light. I like your place. It gets better after dark. I suppose Louis told you. We close for vacation in a few days and reopen with a new show in September. He said you weren't set. True. Stacy, have you met Vincent? How are you, honey? Hello, Stacy. And Paul. Welcome. Oh, you must have been a Boy Scout. You're so kind. If you've got your arrangements, Paul will play them for you. He's no Rubenstein, but he... Have you got a scissors? Allow me. No price tags, shall I? Well, I just got this dress. You can do better. Tell me, where were you working in California? I've never been to California. I met Louie on the plane this morning. Excuse me, my mother's calling Sit me. Sit down, Paul. Pa. Look, Stacy, I like you. I like you? Provided you're all that meets the eye. There's no reason why you should audition. We use a few girls standing around, decoration. No, thanks. I've had the chorus from Puerto Rico to Portland, Maine and Oregon. I asked to sing. Let me. Okay, fellas, let's take a break. Work something out, Miss. Oh, no, really, Peppy. Yes, really. Well, where have you worked before? Places you never heard of. I can believe you. <laughs> Look what's biting you. I dig you, dig me. Okay, I get your message. Choose your weapons. Incidentally, I haven't got an arrangement with me. I'll sing. <laughs> you just follow me. <laughs> Hit me again. Police! Arnold, I wasn't expecting you. Louis called me. Hot, isn't it? Is there a boy to watch my car? Of course. How was Washington? Hot. I thought you were in Baltimore. Baltimore and Washington are very close, Felice. I was in both. Why don't you sit down? I've been sitting for four days waiting for you. I told you I'd be busy. And my phone was working all that time. Oh, Arnold, if Where's you... all the excitement? She's waiting. Any time at all, I'll... Have a word with Louie. In case you're interested. I'll be in the bar. Easy now. We have a party to go to. 
your friends. If you'd rather not go. Trouble? As far as the eye can reach. Well, hello. Paul, dear. Introduce me. I'm Stacy. How do you do, I'm sure. I understand we're about to have the pleasure. I think I'll have it on the rocks for a change. Do you work here? Me? I'm a lily of the field. Or something. Good luck. Can I get a double? Stacy, stick around when you finish. Thanks. You walked out of my life. You took my happiness with you. And here am I, so all alone, with eyes that will only cry. You walked out of my life. You took the spring and the summer. And now I know I can't forget no matter how hard I try. I sit in my room and I tell myself life must go on now. But the only thing I know well myself is that you're gone now, gone. You walked out of my life. You left me here. Sadness that will live till my life is through. For I'll always, always Thank you. If you're uh, not in a hurry... I've got all day. And night. Oh, uh, Peppy. You liked her, Arnold? <laughs> Remarkable. Sit down, Peppy. A new show, I think. Can she be ready? I'll see that she is. Tell me what you want. Oh, not to change her. Just shine her up a bit. Hair, clothes, and that sort of thing. And Peppy, keep her out of trouble. You understand me? I understand you, Arnold. Let's join them. I didn't get your name. Arnold Kenyon. Sounds familiar. Well, sure, you're starting, Miss Kane. Some place he recommended. <laughs> Well, Louie doesn't go in for stately homes. Peppy? 
Happy has a large and quite comfortable apartment. Perhaps you'd like to stay there for a few days until you find something uh, better. I'm not sure I get what you mean. Happy will explain. Goodbye, Miss Kane. Oh, uh, please, have you met Miss Kane? I forget. Take me home, Arnold. Did I do all right, Peppy? More than. Come on, Jerry, we've got a lot to do. this past week if I told you, which I won't. It's all too dull, really. Nobody's in town. Nobody. I've been talking to the wall. If you knew how glad I am you're back. Arnold, couldn't we drive to the country for dinner? That little place where... I thought you understood. This party is... But why must you go? Those cheap politicians, hoodlums. It happens to be important. If you'd rather not go... Oh, I'd rather not. And I'd rather you didn't. You shouldn't bother at all, Felice. I'll go alone. I've got to make a phone call, will you? Excuse me, my dear. You'll be back after the party. I'm afraid not, my dear. My dear, my dear. Is that the kiss of death? Was there something in particular you wanted? Yes. Read your mind. Arnold, I tell you, I cannot stay in this place day after day, never knowing when or if... What about your sister, Felice? My sister and I are strangers. And what would I do in Philadelphia? Whatever the Philadelphians do, I suppose. Why are you suggesting this? What are you doing? You ought to go, obviously. Felice, I don't have much cash with me, but... I want you to have this check. If you need the money now, I'll send Louis around to cash it for you. You've been shopping around for weeks, haven't you? I... I don't follow you. But now the search is over. That girl at Pepe's. What's her name? Stacy. I wonder if you know what you've found. Just one for the road. What do I do? Leave the keys with the doorman? If you will. I knew I could count on you to be realistic, Felice. Oh, I am. I am. Real realistic. Well, I see I'm also very lucky. I never dreamed that getting rid of me would be worth more to you than ditching that city councilman. You know no, the one I mean. Now, just a minute before I go... Don't bother. I know what you mean. So go now. Who would believe the likes of me? talking about the likes of you and your operation. So don't worry, oh great white father. Besides... I love you. That was the best dinner I ever had. Just thrown together. My cook will be here in the morning. She's better than you? In the kitchen. <sighs> Ask her for anything. She doubles as a maid. You can make yourself at home. The music? Not just now. I like the quiet. My hair is a mess. It feels like a mop. It is. 
But it will be fixed. Some talk? There are some things I'd like to know. Such as? Arnold Kenyon. He isn't easy to know. Kenyon and you? A business arrangement. He has many. I run his club as I have others. Rather better, in fact. Arnold wants a certain standard in clubs and in women. The one that was with him? Police? She's an old friend of Arnold's and mine. She used to be in pictures. What is she now? Must I draw you a map? Well, something's wrong there. She hasn't quite worked out. I only ask because I'm so anxious to get started. Take my word for it, Stacy. You are started. And a word of advice. Don't rush things. Well, what do you mean? All I wanted to know was what... What do you propose to do? Rush across the street and pay him a call. Across the street? Oh, that, um, big building on the corner. That's a museum. Is it the townhouse next to it? I'm just light on the second floor. It's probably Larry. Who's Larry? The son and heir. Man. He's a night person. You tired? A little. I feel kind of dazed. What about you? Sleep's a waste of time. Isn't it? But tomorrow promises to be busy. You can breathe or not. You'll wear a girdle and smile. Now that's for Peppy, Cinderella. Mind your own business. How did you live to your present age? Oh, go soak your head, Paulette. Put that down, Stacy. You'll eat and drink what I tell you to until you lose five pounds in the places where. Now listen. You listen. No, no, no. Little birds in their nests agree. Stop it this instant. Get out. Peppy, she... I saw it. Now go. Somewhere. Well? Difficult, aren't you? I don't want any more of this. You don't. Your decision, but... Be sure. For days I've been running around this town like a mad woman. Shoes, hats, clothes. Walk this way, talk that way. Don't eat, don't sleep. I'm sick to death of it. All right, shove off anytime. You do want it, don't you? I'd like a cigarette and my feet up. A little more work first. One thing. Yeah? Kenyon. I haven't seen him since you have. Does he have the final say on me? He trusts me. Okay, let's run it. Angel! Sabrina! Welcome back. Oh, sweetie, how wonderful to see you. I'm just off the boat and you're the first one. You look wonderful, Sabrina. Oh, it's clean living, dear. <laughs> but, Pa, darling, do you have an extra cigarette, please? Uh, certainly, darling. Actually, I've given up smoking. It does save carrying them around. Yeah. But, Peppy, do let me tell you everything about the Riviera. Not in front of the children, dear. Come, I want you to meet Stacy, and I want you to see your dressing room. It's been redone. Angel, you've won my heart. No, dear. A matter of necessity. The ceiling fell in. Yes, dear. <laughs> I know. Don't go away, sweetie. I'll be right back. Au revoir.
Why, hello. Hi. Stacy, this is Sabrina. I've been hearing about you. I wish I could say the same for you, dear. You will. I hear you sing rather well. I strive to please. You're kind of an artist yourself. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? This was a mistake. Let's go. Oh, do come up to my dressing room sometime. I'm just across the passage. One with a star on the door. I've noticed. So long. Oh, by the way, Peppy, how is Arnold? As usual. I'll be with you in a minute, Sabrina. Tired? Shot. I need a day off. Later. Did Arnold Kenyon find her? Sabrina found herself. Get along with her, please. I will. I want to swap dressing rooms with her. <laughs> we uh, have a visitor. Not allowed. The crown prince himself looking for daddy. Larry, wonderful. So, they get on the moon, and this one's a steal. Darling. Peppy. It's good to see you. Uh, listen, I, I hate to bother you, but uh, I can't seem to find Dad anywhere. I expect he went away for a few days. He needed a rest. Can I help? Well, uh, <laughs> spot of trouble. Uh, nothing serious. Uh... Tell me, Larry. First things first. Well, it's another traffic ticket. I may lose my license. And a very good thing that would be. Oh, Larry, look, someday it will be serious. Please, Peppy, no lectures. Just put me in touch with Dad, and I promise I will I'll do be... nothing of the sort for your sake. Now, Arnold's at the end of the line with you, Larry. He told me so. Dad always comes through. <laughs> Don't risk it, darling. You might have to go to work. <laughs> we'll speak to Louie. Oh, that one found under a rock. <laughs> and don't knock him, if you will. It's Peppy, darling. How are you at fixing things like tickets this lovely summer's day, huh? <laughs> ah, you're positively psychic, Louie. <laughs> yeah, he's right here. I'll put him on. And mind your manners. He's a doll, really. Hello, Louie. Yeah, it's the bad penny again. Sure, Louie, I know how Dad is. Appearances. Yeah, I'm going to reform. I, I really am. I'm going to give up wine, women, uh, the rich full life. Well, I think we're getting this bed, Louie, and that's thanks good. again. Hello. Hello, yourself. Oh, well, Stacy, I guess you didn't meet Larry. I'm sure I didn't. Stacy Kane? Meet Larry Kenyon. He's Mr. Kenyon's son. That sounds reasonable. But I don't see much family resemblance. You and Dad, are you, uh, friends? We've met once. Oh, oh that's good. Dad doesn't talk much about this place or the girls here. I am not just one of the girls here. I can see that. George, why don't you take five? I just did. Again, please. All right. I see your lights at night. Oh, <laughs> how so? right across the street. Oh, Peppy's apartment. Oh, that's wonderful. She didn't tell me. Imagine. Do you like fast cars? I don't like slow ones. What do you like? Fun and games and money. You should form a little club. 
Listen, I know a great little spot where we can have dinner, and then right Let's after that... Let's just play it by ear, huh? Give me a minute. I'll go change into something more uncomfortable. And of course, it matches my eyes. Such a charming idea. Oh, don't you think so? A chaise lounge in my dressing room? It ought to save wear and tear on the floor. <laughs> but of course. Byron! Angel boy! I hear you conquered Europe single-handed. Oh, well, now that's a slight exaggeration. But I'm told you want to take me out tonight. Unfortunately, I do have another engagement. Well, you know, I was so sure of that that I went ahead and made another date. Oh, you're so far-sighted. I like that in a man. Oh, by the way, did you meet? Your name is... I've met Mr. Kenyon. Good. I say, what on earth is that? That's a riding crop for Stacy's act. She's riding? This I must see. I've knocked off work for the day. You've what? I think I pulled a muscle. Where? My left shoulder. You were all right a minute ago. Well, these things happen. I'll be in in a minute to look at it. Never mind, I can take it. I'll off. be in. Betty, really, I must go now. Fine, I'll call you later. I want to hear your new material. Oh, it's absolutely divine. Heavens, where's Rosemary? Where's my baby? Oh, Paul took her out to the curb. Oh, thank goodness. Wow, what a turn. Well, goodbye, Peppy. And another time, angel boy. Oh. And do give my love to your dear father. Bye. Something wrong? I hope not. <laughs> well, I'm all squared away with Louie. Happy as a lock. Now, may I have that drink? The bar's just open. Where are you going later? Oh, dinner eventually. Your date? Stacy. Beautiful, isn't she? Beautiful. Don't go. Hmm? Look, Larry, I mean it. If it's wise. Is she involved with somebody else? There have been no men. She's hardly been out of my sight. Well, then. Look, Larry, I'm fond of you. Can't you take my word? Oh, Peppy, honey. <laughs> I know you mean well, but I really like this girl. It's quite possible to like a shark out of water. Oh, I think you're afraid of losing your protege. Ah, proteges are on every corner. Look, Larry, you're a child. No, I, I don't like that talk. I don't like having to say it, but if it's the only way you'll listen, I'll go on and I listen. My shoulder's better. For the practice you've had, you're a poor liar. I've had a chat with Larry. I just bet you have. I know, of course, why you accepted, but it's out of the question. You can't go. I want to have some fun. I'm flesh and blood. A little too much here and there. Miracle of the week. I ought to be down to phone the way I've been knocking myself out for you. You need discipline. What have I had? Tender, loving care? For a lot longer than I like, I've been enjoying your cultivated company in that hothouse you live in. We're down here bellowing out my lungs. What I need is some fresh air. And a man. Larry isn't a man. Then I'll make him one. You leave now, and you don't come back. Finish your face. You can have a drink with Larry at the bar and make your excuses. Thanks a lot. Happy. A crisis. I'm busy. Don't be. You hey, wait here. Dad, is this girl, Stacy? Yes. Well, I didn't get a chance to see her. Have you met her? Uh huh. I'm taking her to dinner. Arnold, darling, the way you appear from the blue. Hi, Peppy. Is she ready? Look, uh, 
Florence, I'd like a word with you alone. Stay here. I have things to do. Vinny. What's the matter? About those traffic tickets. Oh, I thought that was all taken care of. Hardly. Look, don't come here again. What? Now, look, we went through that. You but... know a number of nice girls. I suggest you see them. Oh, Dad, who's telling who what? How's Felice? Miss Hayden? She's in Philadelphia visiting her family. Why? Well, now, how about that? Look, if you have an interest in any of my enterprises, I suggest you find another more suitable. Oh, maybe you want me to drive one of your trucks. Speaking of driving, I also want that car, which is parked very badly, by the way, stored in a garage. Oh, now look. Or it'll be taken from you. What is this? I want the car stored now. Tonight. But I told you I have a date. Now, how can I go on a date? Effie will apologize for you. The bank has notified me that some of your checks are coming back written in an extremely wobbly hand. I don't like that, Lawrence. Appearances. Also, according to my calculations, you're about eight months ahead of yourself in your allowance. If I must close out your account, Lawrence, I will. Enough is enough. Good night, my boy. Now, uh, Vinny. Small bills, please. Yes, sir, Mr. Kenyon. She'll be here in a moment. Oh, thanks, Peppy. Hope Lawrence wasn't a nuisance. No, I just turned my back for a moment, that's all. Forget it, my dear. I'm glad you're here. It's time. Oh, with the arrangements? Done. How about the act? You'll get your money's worth. <laughs> ah, you've done well, Peppy. I had good material. Oh, thanks, Vinny. Listen, Arnold, a word to the superwise. Mm. Just keep out of weather. Oh, good evening, Miss King. Good evening. One of life's little surprises. <laughs> what were you saying, my dear? I said run for your life, but let it pass. <laughs> You're looking, uh, very well. It's an illusion. I'm a wreck, really. A drink might help. May I, fairy godmother? How would you like to be a pumpkin in the morning? Oh, I think I'll risk it. Scotch, Vinny. Right. I met one of your kin this afternoon. Oh? Oh, Lawrence, yes, he told me. He'd entirely forgotten something he had to do for me. I, uh, hope you can forgive him. I'll try. Peppy gives me a good report on you. Was the leather costume your idea? Hmm, suggestion. I thought it might suit you. It does. Just got back in town, huh? Mm hmm. Do you have plans for dinner? Oh, none. Peppy and I have begun to bore each other. <laughs> well, then, I could hardly ask both of you out, could I? Hardly. Besides, I think that Peppy has another appointment. Well, naturally. King Farouk and I are dining at Howard Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Shall we go? Indeed. Don't wait up, Mother. <laughs>
And you cook, Stacy? Me? No. Can you? Yes, as a matter of fact. Teach me sometime. Do you, uh, insist on scotch? Let's experiment. All right. You're married, Peggy tells me. Well, technically. <laughs> Why is it that men always say that? Why, indeed. Drink up. I mix a mean martini. So you do. Where is she? My wife? In Europe. She prefers our living apart, and I don't mind. That's interesting. But I meant, uh, the lady who lives here, or did. Your friend. <laughs> Aren't you jumping to conclusions? Am I? Well, no. As a matter of fact, there is, I believe, a new tenant. That's even more interesting. Would you like to see the rest of the place? Take a look at the bedroom? Ooh, I wouldn't want to miss that. By the way, where are you taking me on my invitation to dinner? Oh, to that charming little place right next door. Is it dressy? Mm hmm. So-so. I won't be a minute. You can pour me another. All right. This way? All right at the foyer. Oh, take a look in the closet. Police. Police is in Philadelphia. I told you that. What do you want with her anyway? I wanted to offer congratulations. I'm getting away from you. I'm about to do the same thing. Listen, Lawrence, you may be considered a wit in some circles, but you don't amuse me. That wasn't my intention. I just wanted to say, I'm not giving up my car, and you may not see me for a few days. And just what do you propose to do? You can hardly be called self-supporting. Well, I'll get by. So long, Pop. the wrong number. I've got to get that one changed. Why don't you let the lieutenant do that? Might make a few more noise. Hmm. Do you like? I like. But not now. First thing in the morning. You know, I can't wait to show you off, Stacy. I like the way you look. It's the dress. Oh, no. I've not finished in back. I think there's a hook at the top. Mm-hmm. There is. Are you pleased, Stacy? Here. With you.
Hello? I don't know if I'm glad or sorry you answered. <laughs> I do. I'm glad. Can you hold on a minute? Now. Are you still there? Yes. Just wondering why I called. Maybe you wanted to apologize for standing me up. Wasn't like that. Look, are you staying there? Well, a girl has to have a roof over her head. Are you at home? I've left home. Where then? A bar in the village, 11th. 11th in Hudson. I've got a rehearsal at 11. You want to have a cup of coffee with me? I'm not coming there. You weren't invited. Do you know a little coffee shop on the corner of uh, 57th and 1st? Yeah, I know it. Why don't you meet me there? When? I'll hurry. See you in a half hour. You look like something left over from the flood. Yeah. Does it matter? Why spoil a good thing? And there's something I need to know. If you would mind. Morning. Co Morning. Coffee. I'll have another. I'm sure to eat. Uh -huh. Two coffees. There's something you need to know. What is it? Well, I'm. The apartment. I've moved in. Well, that's. Shouldn't I? No, you shouldn't. You told me you weren't... You, you, you weren't just one of the girls. You said... something I need to know. What are you thinking? Well, what, what am I supposed to think? I called last night, and Dad was there, and you were there. Just a minute. I don't exactly owe you an explanation, but you're gonna get one. I can get along with Peppy, but not at such close range. Your father offered me that apartment. What it has been, I don't know, and I don't care, until I get a spot of my own. I take exception to... I guess this meeting wasn't such a good idea. No, Stacy, please, don't go. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm... It's all right. I guess it does look... Going back to school soon. Well, maybe you'll invite me to the senior prom. Listen, Stacy. I could be in from school every weekend if I could just see you. What about today? I told you rehearsal. I'm due now. Well, later. What? Right. I'll pick you up. That's not the best idea. Well, well, then we'll, we'll meet somewhere afterwards. Please, please. Here. We could meet here. Oh, that's great. That is great. And we'll do something real far out, like, oh, uh, uh, we'll go bowling, or we'll take a ride on the Staten Island Ferry. Uh, no, no. I know. We'll, uh, we'll go see Shakespeare in the Park. It's even free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can wait. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kenyon, but uh, she isn't here yet, and we haven't heard from her. Yes, sir, the minute she comes in. He wonders if she's been in an accident. She may have caused one. <laughs> well, Tweety-dee, dum you are one hour and 45 minutes late for rehearsal. I'm sorry. And I won't stand for it. Do you realize you have an opening in two days? I'll make it. One of your admirers has been calling you every 15 seconds. I have so many. Arnold. 
Call him for me, will you, and tell him I had a fitting or something? I'll change and be right with you. And I want to know where you've been. A long walk. Be careful. You may take a longer walk. Somehow, I don't think so. I'll speak to Arnold. Who doesn't have to today? Oh, stick around, Vinny. Have a drink. Well, that was a quick change. Usually you're slower than Christmas. I'm exhausted. I want to get out of here. Vinny, give her a drink. Vinny's here to revive the weary. <laughs> I'll have just one. How'd it go, Pat? Oh, fine, but I'm beat. How was my song? I hate the sight of you, so I hate to say it. But I've never seen a better rehearsal. You might say I was proud of you. You don't have anything to worry about tomorrow night. That's what everybody keeps saying. Keep saying what? Arnold, I thought you said you couldn't come. I wouldn't miss it, didn't Peppy tell you? That was a surprise, Arnold. What's a surprise? A small party here, everybody in the show, and a few people I'd like you to meet. Oh, well, I can't stay. I've got to get home. I'm dead for sleep. Oh, stick around for half an hour, Stacy. And then I'll drive you home. No, I can't. But the party's for you. Well, that's all very well. And I hate to be a party pooper, but I can't face it. I shouldn't even be having this drink. Good night, Peppy. Arnold, don't bother. I'll take a cab. Excuse me. Well, I guess the kid is rather beat. Hmm. Maybe. I am not upset. I'm tired. T-I-R-E-D. Where's the mystery? I've been working myself in and out of the woodwork, and I have an opening tomorrow night. But we need to talk. Oh, to if there's one thing I don't need, it's conversation. Now, good night. Hello? Are you alone? Are you alone? No, no, I'm alone. I've been calling. I just got in. I expect you're tired. No, no, I'm not tired at all. Hungry then? No. Maybe a little. I'm at that same coffee shop. I, I thought maybe. Are you asking me? I guess I am. Then I guess I'll be there. Just give me a few minutes to change, huh? Stolen diamonds. Oh, across the desert. I have a camel ready. <laughs> There's a full moon out tonight. Or was. I never see the moon in the city. Would you go to the moon? Yes. I'm glad to see you. The same with me. Would you would you like to take a drive? Where? Well, I don't know. I hadn't thought. Uh, I know. There's a place I liked when I was a kid. It's near the family's house, and you can see the ocean from there. And sometimes even a ship. Your family's house? Yeah. Is it far? Well, it's quite a drive. Are you up to it? Mm-hmm. We'll get something to eat on the way, or there.
collars off. Do you know your way around? <laughs> well, I should. This is where I grew up. Are you afraid? No, Mary. I'm not afraid. Water's wonderful. We'll go again later. Later. Come here. I'm shaving. You heard me. Come here. <laughs> well, when do you have to get back to town?
for some time. And all alone? It must have been dull. Quite the contrary. I like the view from these windows. The new buildings and occasionally an interesting sports car on the street. Oh, the view's all right. Look, this apartment is exactly as we left it yesterday when I took you to rehearsal. Where have you been? In the country. I thought you were so tired. Right. I went to relax. And did you? <laughs> yes. All over. And right now I'm going to go relax some more. I'm going to take a nap, Arnold, so I'll see you at the club tonight. You were with my son. With your son at your house. And for your information, I've seen him every day since we met. Some days, twice. And I think I can have him if I want him, and I think I do. Lawrence will be sent away. I'm not going to have him around you. Of course, you won't want me here after this. So I'll move back to uh, Pepe's. Or maybe a hotel, uh, maybe Louis' hotel. I'll find myself another job and another... I'll give you anything you want, but please don't leave me. Give me a while, Arnold. To think how I want it. Hello, Peppy. Well, Felice. Where's the vast cheering throng? We don't open till 10. What brings you to town? Love. Or money. I'm forever getting those two mixed up. How's Arnold? As usual. Look, why don't you go have a drink? I'll join you in a minute. I want to thank you, Stacy. This afternoon at the apartment. For our new understanding. For the first time, we've been completely honest with each other, haven't we? Yes, Arnold. Completely. I'll come to your dressing room before you go on. You do that. Happy. Happy opening. I hope so. You're early. Lawrence been around? How was he expected? Well, I should think so. As soon as... Oh, Felice. How are you? I just dropped by to wish everybody well tonight. How kind of you. I thought so. Under the circumstances. I want to see Lawrence at once in the office. Of course, honey. Perhaps we can have a drink later. I'll be around. For the truth. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present our own Sabrina. So here we are alone in your apartment. No, I'm not sorry that I came. I've seen all your etchings, and I've heard all your records. But the answer is still the same. I would if I could, but I can't. So be good. Stop the music, put on the light. Please don't hold me quite so tight. Another kiss, and I think I might. I would if I could, but I can't. I won't. No, I won't. But it's not, cause I don't. Mama gave me the best advice. Mama's been there once or twice. She said, no dice till you get that ice. I would if I could, but I can't. Heaven knows I'm in the mood. Heaven knows I'm not a prude. But let's go out and get some food. Cause baby, it's hot. Inside, I'm in my prime, but tonight's not the time. I like diamonds, I like birds, a Cadillac, the kind of purse. Uh, Larry, is Stacy here? Yes, Larry, she is. But now look, your father's waiting for no, you. No, 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 I'll just have to wait. Larry, if you'd like to feel. If you'd like to warm the chill, better pay that old gas bill. Cause baby, it's cold inside. I am in my prime, but tonight's not the time. One more kiss, and then that's all. Hold me up, or I might fall. My will is. Big, but my wound is small, I would if I could, but I can't. I can't be good. I've been trying to call you all day. The phone was off the hook. Uh -huh. He didn't leave me alone for a minute. He practically took a shower with me. He? Who? Arnold, of course. He was waiting. He saw you bring me home. Uh -huh. But what of it? What could he do? You remember what I told you about your father and me? Yes, you, you said it was only... Well, it was more. It was even more this very afternoon. I should never have let you take me to the door. Larry. Larry, you're the only one I want. And you're... Larry, I love you. Oh, come in, Lawrence. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. chance made an important mistake? Oh, Probably. There's an awful lot of wear and tear playing all sides against the middle. 
You probably could use a friend. When you really what for? What for indeed? Poor friend. Arnold, I thought you'd forgotten about me. Are we here? Yeah. Yeah. I'll find it for you. I'd like to see him at my table. Arnold. Maybe he says you spoke with Lawrence. Lawrence is going to Europe. For a year. Possibly two. But he... Well, what about school? <laughs> school will be tame after his summer in town. He's out of his element here, and I'm... Grateful to you for making him realize that. Now, let me tell you, this trip was, was his own idea. My son is not so open-minded as I am. Shall I drive you home after the show? Thank you. I want us to be together constantly. You've got to find him for me. Bring Lawrence here, please. Sing, you're pretty. Peter, do you think that you can find Mr. Kenyon's son, Lawrence, for me? Well, I can try, Miss Kane. Do. Tell him to meet me in my dressing room right after the show, please. Yes, ma'am. Be 
you find him? Not in the club, Miss Kane. Unless he's in the office. Well, why didn't you look in the office? Mr. Kenyon just went in. And I'm not allowed when he's around. Right. Is Mr. Kenyon alone? I guess so. Thanks. Get away from this place. Go away with you. Remember how things used to be when we were together before the fights, before all the trouble. Oh, we get away together. Can you take me back? Will you take me back, Ruby? You mean now? Yes, let's run away together now. Oh, Rudy, please. Please. No, I can't. Why, Stacy? Why? There's this man, this terrible man. He's a vicious man, Rudy. He'd run after us, he'd kill us, he'd find us no matter where we went. We can't go anywhere that he wouldn't come. Well, it's the only way. You will, Rudy, won't you? Me? I... It's the only way. His name is Kenyon. At the end of the hall, there's only one door. this man before in my life. Arnold, I... Larry! Larry! I love you! What have you done for me lately? What have you done for me? Last month, last week, 
last night, today, like lately.